If you are watching this video, you are interested in the reasoning behind um, the character Ma. Why is it written like that? Okay, the left hand side of the character Ma uh, refers to uh, women. It's used in all the characters that have anything to do with women, usually. Uh, it also has other functions, but if you're wanting to learn about the character Ma, it may be a little bit difficult to go into that at this point. Okay, what about the right-hand side? What about the right-hand side? Okay, you know what it means. You know it means horse. That's one of the first things you're taught in Chinese language class. Um, you can see the little four little feet on the traditional form of Chinese character, Ma. Wow, you know? Okay. Uh, it is a pictograph of a horse, right? Now, but why is there a pictograph of a horse in the word, in the character for mother? Why? 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 What's the point? And uh, you probably have noticed that um, the character horse is pronounced ma, and that the character mother is pronounced ma. Is that a coincidence? No. No. It is not a coincidence. It is a set rule of the Chinese language that uh, about 80% to some people say 90% of Chinese characters have a component which gives you some kind of clue about the pronunciation of the character. And um, you'd think, oh, well, won't we learn about that later on in Chinese language class? The answer is, no, you will not. You will not learn that. You, Yes, they will introduce the concept to you maybe at some point. Maybe they've already told you about the concept of a character having one part related to the meaning and one part related to the sound. Maybe they've already told you that. But in my experience... This principle of Chinese characters is glossed over and ignored. It's thought of as too hard to teach people. It's thought, the first thing we have to teach them is how to speak. And then later maybe we'll try to figure out, maybe we can teach them the academic stuff later. Okay, It's seen as too academic, too high level. But the only people that learn Chinese know this stuff. And... A lot of them don't know it directly. Sometimes they only have kind of a feeling about it. Oh, yeah, well, it kind of... Some of the characters don't have, like, uh, this character, um, horse is pronounced with a third tone, right? And mother's pronounced with a first tone. So it's a little different, you see? Some characters have a sound component that only rhymes with the overall character. Okay, so let's say instead of... Uh, instead of ma, it would be something like uh, la. I don't know. Okay. Um, some have uh, some have it so that it alliterates, alliterates, right? And there's some important, fundamental, you know, principles about how to pronounce Chinese characters that you can learn by studying these rules. Okay. Not ex. And that doesn't mean ignore everything you're learning in Chinese class. That means supplement what you're learning in Chinese class with an academic understanding of the Chinese characters, okay? Because every teacher says you should not teach this in class. But once you know this, writing the characters is easy. It's easy. Because characters are no longer nonsensical, whimsical, you know, magical things. It's got principles behind it that make sense, that are reasonable. And more importantly, Chinese characters are phonetic. It's not pictographs. It's pictographs in the same sense that you could say the, the letter A is a pictograph. The letter B is a pictograph, okay? Yes, there are some that are more obviously retain some of their characteristics of their original pictographic, pictographic nature, like the horse, the character horse, that has the four feet at least still in the traditional form. 
But, um, you know, basically they've all been, you know, simplified, changed, mashed around, okay, and they're no, they're no wrong, they're not really pictographs anymore, it's just a complicated system of phonetic word. It's just like, it's just like any other language, written language on the earth. It has phonetic symbols in it. And, um, so, you know, to ignore that is to miss out on the fundamental principles of Chinese, and a lot of people miss it. And even when you do get it, it's not something you can really talk about a lot, because it's seen as something like, oh, well, that's not, you're not supposed to learn Chinese that way. You're supposed to memorize every character individually without reference to their uh, phonetic components because uh, it's seen as kind of like leaning on a crutch or something like that. That's that's just a naive view of how to learn Chinese. Yeah. So I hope this uh, video has helped you. Let me know if it has. I think that there are at least 10% of Chinese language learners that need to know this. They need to know this. 90%, maybe they don't care. Maybe they just type pinyin all day and pretend that's good enough. But for the core 10%, us, uh, yeah, we got we to gotta learn it.